Here's how I look up leads in Marketo from a Streamsets data collector pipeline. I've got two test records here using the dev raw data source. I've got uh, an email that I know is in Marketo and an email I know isn't just to show you the difference. Now I've got my HTTP uh, client processor configured here and it's configured with the URL for the Marketo REST API and I've pulled out the base URL and uh, into a uh, runtime parameter so that I could use that elsewhere in my pipeline as well. Let's have a quick look. Obviously I've blurred a lot of this, but you get the idea. I can set these parameters and use them throughout my pipeline. So going back to the HTTP client, uh, I call this API and then it puts the result in this lookup response field. So pretty simple. Uh, one thing is uh, Marketo uses OAuth2, so I've checked that and filled out the relevant fields in the OAuth2 tab. Here we see how using that parameter allows me to avoid retyping this and using these uh, parameters. Uh, similarly, if I were doing more with Marketo, I could just repeat those. And it means I can show this kind of thing on screen without revealing all my secrets all the time. Now, unfortunately, if we were to use this in a pipeline that ran uh, perhaps overnight, uh, eventually it would fail because Marketo does not correctly implement OAuth2. When the OAuth2 token expires, they should return HTTP code 401, but instead they return 200 with some error information in the body of the response. So we have a little bit of extra code here to check for that condition. And I'm using the Groovy evaluator here to just look at the records. And if I see a record where success is false and it's got this 601, error code, that's what they document as meaning the uh, uh, access token expired. I actually throw a stage exception uh, with a message. I have the pipeline configured to retry on errors, so um, it will refresh itself and get a new OAuth token. So with that, let's have a quick look. We'll preview, uh, we'll run, and uh, yeah, just in about a second or less, we get back, so looking at the HTTP client, this is what it got. And on this first one, we can see that uh, it populated the lookup response field, got a request ID there, and I've got all the data from uh, my lead in Marketo. And then here in uh, my dummy email address, I can see that uh, Marketo succeeds, but the list of leads is empty. So you could go on and test that, maybe uh, a condition in a stream selector or whatever, you could look for whether this uh, ID field existed and take different action in your pipeline based on that.